And again, that'll make for another nice slingshot. Black cherry, fairly hard wood. Um, not as hard as ash or oak, but I believe this is about 970 on the Jonka hardness scale, and it'll finish up really nicely. All right, so we're back indoors. I just completed this first slingshot here. This is a piece of the black cherry that you saw me harvest earlier. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these out of a beefier fork that I've got here. Again, this is another piece of that black cherry. Now let me show you, now let me show you the features that you want when you're carving this down after you bring your wood home. Notice how the main branch is tilting this way. Well, that's because I'm right-handed and you want that. You want that main branch to go at an angle away from you and that's going to keep the V nice and straight. You see that? So you carve away in here, carve out the center there with a rasp. And this handle is ready to go as well. So let's take a look at some of the materials that we use to get this slingshot in working order. First material you want to get for yourself is this TheraBand Gold. This is um, an exercise resistant elastic that is used in the health fields by physical therapists and occupational therapists. The elasticity on this stuff is amazing. And you want to pick this up on eBay for about two bucks a foot. Um, I, I got a couple feet here for four bucks, including shipping. And there are several bands in that. And then, as well, you can cut your strips of thin um, TheraBand as well that we're going to be using on um, twist and tuck ties around the fork and also with constrictor knots around your leather pouch. Also, you're going to want to get some leather. This was an old um, sleeve that was used for a um, sharpening stone that I had around and I cut the pouch for this out of this leather um, using a two by six centimeter pouch size. I just cut a pouch here for our project today. And what we're gonna be doing um, so with some of the tools here, I'm just using a Swiss Army knife awl to uh, put our holes in there. So get yourself a nice awl or a leather punch would be best, but if you're just doing this yourself, you might have a good sharp awl around the house. I'm cutting the TheraBand with an X-Acto knife, but if those of you with a rotary cutter, that's the ultimate tool. TheraBand, this stuff is very difficult to cut. At very least, get yourself a really sharp X-Acto knife and a straight edge because you're going to be holding down that TheraBand with a straight edge. Always good to keep an Oppenel around. Get some nice um, fabric shears. Really sharp shears um, come in handy for cutting out your pouch there. Okay. Got a tape measure here with English and metric. What we've got going on in there um, is a very small hole in the center there. Okay. You can see that's come through there. And that's kind of going to be a place that that um, ball is going to rest in, whether you're using marbles or steel shot or lead for hunting, um, that's where that's going to sit in there. We've also got two holes there where the uh, TheraBand comes into the pouch. See those slits there? That's to take the strain off the holes um, where it connects from the TheraBand. So I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So basically you're making three holes. Now this is the... Um, this is going to be the back of the pouch, and that's the inner uh, part of the pouch. And what you want to do, you want to measure very carefully to get the best performance out of your slingshot um, for all this stuff. You want to get your nice center mark. This is going to be where your ammo is going to sit right there. So you want to take your awl and you want to make a, a small hole right there. Okay? Very small hole. You don't want to go too big there. Just something that's going to create a little bit of a weak spot there in the leather for that ammo to get seated. 
Now on either side of that hole, you're going to make two other holes. One here and one here. And what you want to do then, these awls on these Swiss Army knives are actually pretty nice because they're they have a sharp edge and you can use that to um, carve away by ro rotating the knife. And that's going to create a nice hole to put the TheraBand through. Now your TheraBand is going to come through through this side. As you can see there, the TheraBand comes through there and then ties around the back. So make sure that you cut into this side of the leather so that the TheraBand goes in easily. Okay, that should be pretty good. Then take your X-Acto knife and cut two tiny slits going towards the center hole, just like that. See what I'm doing there? That's gonna give that relief to the center hole. That's gonna give that relief to the holes where the TheraBand comes through. I wanna use a tapered uh, band. Now this is a pretty short band and only about five and a half, six inches. But for my larger fork here, I'm gonna want a seven inch band, okay? And in order to cut that, I'm gonna overcompensate because you gotta consider if you're gonna go um, around the forks like I'm doing here with a natural fork style, you're gonna to wanna to overcompensate how you're gonna to have to tie it off there and around your pouch. So I'm actually cutting this um, just shy of 11 inches. And I also wanna taper this um, from 20 millimeters down to 25 millimeters. So on this end of it, it's gonna be 25 millimeters down to 20 millimeters where it meets the pouch. And that's gonna give me a more efficient, uh, powerful shot. So what you can do is measure that 20 mils down to 25 and then reciprocally 20 millimeters down to 25 on this end to maximize your TheraBand and get the most out of your piece of TheraBand. So what I'm going to do now is put a straight edge along that line and I'm going to line up my points there. You want to put a lot of pressure on that and you want to avoid dragging and tearing this as tough as it, it, it seems to do that. Go in with a very uh, commanding cut and just keep it going the entire time, okay? Just keep going. Let the blade do the work. All the way down. Follow your cut through. You do not want to tear this or rip it. Okay, that's a nice cut. Again, put a lot of pressure on that straight edge. Follow it through. Get a good cutting board for this. And that's a nice band, no tears. And if you notice, don't do this on a straight edge of your TheraBand because that's not going to be uh, tapered. Remember, when you do a tapered cut, that you want to taper on both sides, starting from 20 millimeters going out to 25 on the end. That's going to be an awesome band right there. And come down. Just let your blade do the work. Start off with a new blade with this. Do not use an old blade. Put it, load your X-Acto with a new blade and it'll go a lot better. Okay, just like that. Cut off your end. Now this is the narrower end on this one because remember we're going re reciprocally down the edge of the taper. So those are our two bands. 
and they should match up just about perfectly. If they're a little off people, it's really no big deal. But that's pretty good. See that, how they're both tapering in the right direction? Here's the inside of the pouch. You want to bring your TheraBand around the pouch. And I've just pushed this through with a pencil. Okay. Get that a little bit coming through the pouch there. And then you want to put that in some kind of vise. Or if you have a friend nearby, take your strip of TheraBand. Go around the two bands. Go over your standing line. Come back around. Go over the standing line again. Now, go under the remaining two bands that you're going to see here. Under one. Okay, and under the second one. Now this does take nimble fingers, but you'll see through trial and error, these restrictor knots do take some practice. Okay, and you'll see that kind of like bunch up right there. Pull the two ends loosely I mean don't put a lot of force on it but but snug that up people against your pouch okay and then test that that's a perfect constrictor knot all right for the fork for an around the fork design with these natural forks take a little piece of that theraband and wrap it around so you have about an inch to spare take a strip of extra theraband and this is called a wrap and tuck technique now and what you're going to do here put a little tension on that and wrap it three times going in opposite directions see how i'm going around that standing piece there it's two times and then on the third time put your finger there bring it around a third time and then feed that through the loop where your finger is and tie it off and snug it up against the fork. Now, whatever method you're using for tying people, test it out. Make sure that that's secure. Take your shears. Just clean that up a little bit. And that feels real good. Now for this final stage, make sure that your bands are equidistant and that um, the same force is required to pull these. You don't want one too short or one side too long. So kind of test that out. That feels pretty good right there. And again, that's the wrap and tuck method. Pull your ends one more time. There we go. Really nice tension on that. Both forks are perfectly tied. Our constrictor knots on the pouch are perfect. Got a nice draw on that. Now for finishing off your natural fork slingshots, I just use linseed oil on a rag, boiled linseed oil. And you can see how that makes the grain of that black cherry just pop out really beautifully preserves the wood. Now as far as the uh, pouch goes, or the pocket here of your slingshot, I just rub that with some all-natural beeswax. Just rub that beeswax on the inside and outside of that 
and it creates a nice kind of tacky finish which also helps to keep your ammo in the pocket. If you're under the age of 18, only use your slingshot under adult supervision. Always wear eye protection. I've got my polycarbonate eyeglasses on right now. I also occasionally wear safety glasses. Cut yourself some TheraBand and cut it at least a good quarter inch, okay? Because occasionally these ties will come out on your fork and have some extra TheraBand ties in the field. Using glass marbles here as ammo, a really cheap uh, ammo supply with marbles. And I'm 20 feet downrange here. Target? Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Bingo! Ready? Got it. That marble rolled all the way back to me 20 feet. <laughs> all right, I'm at 40 feet now from the downrange target. Let's see if we can nail this. Ready. <laughs> Bingo! That's fun. I'm now 60 feet uprange from the downrange target. Okay. Oh, just to the right. <laughs> you could probably see that hitting in that snowbank. Yes! 60 feet! A firing a homemade natural fork slingshot with TheraBand gold, your own leather pouch tied off with a constrictor knot on the pouch with TheraBand gold strips and a twist and tuck knot on your fork. It's lots of fun. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys real soon. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who are into bushcraft and slingshotting.